Hello and howdy everybody. Thank you for joining me as we take a look at question 19 on our Pascal paper. In the diagram, points U, V, W, X, Y, and Z lie on a straight line. And U, V is equal to V, W is equal to W, X. So all these lengths are equal and they're all five. Okay. Semicircles with diameter U, Z, so the, the big one here, U, V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, and Y, Z create the shape shown. What is the area of the shaded region? Oh, okay. Okay. So we sort of want a plan of attack here. That's, that's how we usually approach shaded region style geometry questions. Break it down into figures that you know. So right off the bat, I notice a really, really big semicircle. And its radius is uh, 1, 5, 2, 5s, 3, 5s, 4, 5s, 5, 5. So its diameter, diameter of the big one is 25. How do I figure out the area of a semicircle in terms of its diameter? Well, diameter is twice the radius, so radius is half the diameter. And we do half the diameter squared. We do pi r squared, so pi times half the diameter squared. That would be a full circle but we want a half circle. So it's kind of a complicated formula. We can expand it out a little bit and say it's diameter times pi over eight. That's the area of a semicircle. So in this case, with 25 being the diameter of the big circle, I've got 25 pi over eight, but I don't quite have a big circle. Remember we've got these tiny little bits that are cut, uh, that extend, but then cut in. Extend and cut in. Now, each of these smaller semicircles has diameter of 5, because we're told that each of these lengths is 5 here. Okay, So we could do figure out uh, the area of, of each of these. It's going to be 5 pi by 8, thanks to our formula here. And then we could add on 3 and then subtract 2 copies. Or you could just say, and I know a couple people who reasoned their way through it like this, this area and this area cancel each other out, so we don't have to worry about them. This area and this area cancel each other out. So you're just left with the big semicircle and then another copy of this small semicircle. And that's fine. However you go through it is fine. But what we want is big area, uh, either plus a bunch of the little areas, minus two uh, more of the, the little areas. Okay. You can do that, and then you can say that these guys cancel out. That's fine, too. But ultimately, we've got 25 pi by 8 plus a 5 pi by 8, and that simplifies to 30 pi by 8. Okay, And that's going to be our answer. So 30 pi by 8, and whoa, 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 what am I? Each of these is 5. Oh, I didn't square it. D squared. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why my numbers were so much smaller than their numbers. Okay, so it's 25 squared pi by 8 plus 5 squared pi by 8. And then you could add on 2 more 5, squareds, five squared pi by 8s and then subtract 2 more 5 pi squareds by 8 or 5 squared pi's by 8. But you don't need to. Just simplify it to this. So we'll have 625 plus 25 all that times pi divided by 8. So that'll be 650 pi by 8. Uh, divide top and bottom by 2. I noticed most of the answers there had a by 4 on the bottom. Uh, 650, that's going to be 325. So we're looking for 325 pi by 4. And that's an answer of A. Okay. Now I did make a little calculation, so I'm just going to quickly run through it in my head again. But... Uh, yeah, d squared, and then the one-half times a half squared is one-half times a quarter, so it is by eight. Okay. And the canceling, I mean, the canceling had nothing to do with this formula, so the canceling is perfectly sound. So, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with this A here. Okay. So that was, uh, gosh, what was that? That was question 19. Up next, we're going to finish off part B with question 20.